Hello everybody and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included where we're doing our full achievement run on these nice little bite size episodes. In the last episode we actually accomplished a culinary summary achievement. Carnivore was the one that we just completed, which is have duplicates eat 400,000 K calories of critter meat before the 100 cycle. So that was good. So in terms of all of these ones, we've been doing pretty good, but the next one that's going to cause us some problems is super sustainable. We need energy generation, a lot of energy. But we can't use natural gas, we can't use petroleum, we can't burn wood, and we can't burn coal. So that's going to be a huge pain in the butt. But that's going to come later, because today I want to build a SPOM self-powered oxygen maker. Right? Ah, eh, sounds about right. So we're going to build a SPOM in this general area. Alright, welcome to a previous playthrough, because yeah, we didn't build this already, but this is the SPOM that I want to build. So let's take out my digger tool, let's build this out. So this whole thing is a 17, oh sorry, 17 by 14 design. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these lovely gas pumps. So I made them by gold amalgam, but as you can see, they're all around about 60 degrees. So did I really need to build them on there? Overheat temperature 125. Shouldn't have been a problem. So the idea is because it's submerged underwater, we can see that I have brine here on the bottom. I have about 200 kilograms of brine. On the top, I have some liquid water, but I only have about like 200 grams. So yeah, 200 kilograms on the bottom, 200 grams on the top. And what happens is it spews, spews? <laughs> it spits out, uh, was it hydrogen on one side and then oxygen in another. And because this has this little tile right here, None of this is actually connected through because the liquid lock blocks it all from going in. All right, let's start building. Perfect. Now we got the whole system pretty much set up and ready to go. So all I got to do is go to sandstone and uh, let's build all this. So all we got to do is build one wall at a time. Now, it is possible if I wanted to, I can go all the way across as well. And then I can kind of build in this. I want this whole thing into a solid block. Oh boy, check it out. Cycle 99 is about to turn. Hooray! Another colony achievement earned. We've reached cycle 100. Well, in honor of this big milestone, let's continue building. All right, and now after more more cycles than I care to admit, we have completed our giant block of garbage. Now all we need is a liquid lock to get in here. All right, there we go. This should work out better. Then I'm just going to destroy those ones and see how it goes. And there we go. We got ourselves a vacuum. All right, here we go. We are ready to start building. So first thing we're going to need is under ventilation. We are going to need a gas pump and it's going to have to be gold amalgam just to be safe. And we're going to build one here, one here, all the way down until we have six of them. But before I do that, I want to be able to make sure I can put the piping in here. All right, there we go. Now we got these ones. So now what we can do is we can deconstruct that and then go back into ventilation and grab my gas pump and then build that in its spot. Next up, we're going to need power. Now, I did build a little bit extra over here, one airflow tile, one sandstone tile, so that I can build the electrolyzers going up. And we're just going to build them going straight up like this. Also, I did give myself a nice little liquid pump just going straight down. You can have it going from the bottom, going from the top, it doesn't really matter. But I want mine just connected to here, so we can have a constant water flow. Now we need power. So what I'm going to do is going to take a conductive wire, and I'm going to use the nice iron that we have all the way over there, because we have, what is it, 2.5 tons. And we're just going to go straight up. And straight over and straight down there we go a nice little loop looks like our good buddy Steve is just having a grand old time can't breathe but decides to yodel in here 
And there we go. Uh, the next step is complete. So we have power wire. We have our wonderful water so we can get that kind of stuff in there. Next up, let's get ourselves a cutoff point. So we put these ones right here. Then we grab a regular tile and I just fill that off. And then that will basically cut off everything once we put the liquid in here, which is going to be interesting. All right, time for the fun part. I need to get water in here first. So we go to the bottle water thingy, we go to water, enable auto bottling and put it as priority nine. So I need 200k worth of water down here. Then I could put in the second one on top, close it, and then start doing the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. <laughs> uh, there we go, 200 and 200. Now before I start pouring in the next thing, if I start pouring the next thing, it'll kind of go in here, because as you can see, there's water in here. So what I have to do is I have to mop up this one and this mop command will put that as a level nine and then I can switch this over from water to salt water. All right, so this is all mopped up and as you can see, it's still 200 and 200 and then we can change this over to salt water. Now we gotta be really careful on the salt water because what we needed to do is we needed to put just enough that it gets us the thing. All right. Did that mess everything up? Let's find out. Really? What happened? All right, I think I figured it out. I think the salt water is heavier than the water, thus it's pushing it aside. So what I need to do is I need to mop up all of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to... <sighs> we're going to put the salt water down first. Then we're going to put a little bit of water on top. Dang it. Order of operation. PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I think it was. Yeah, something like that. We'll, we'll, we'll get it right. All right. We are ready to try again. This time I have salt water on the bottom at 200. And we are going to change this once we save to water okay so we have a couple little droplets like that let's see how it goes oh thank god all right that that should do it right there see everything works out in the end so what i gotta do now is i'm going to build one two is it three three and then you right mirror. So now this will build it up and then we can do the same thing with our nice little salt water water trick and fill up all these. This might be a difficult with this one, but eh, it should be fine. And there you have it. The right half of it is all complete. Big pain in the butt once I tried to get the top water done, but otherwise pretty good. And the best part of it, if we look at liquids, we can see each one has a water and each one has a salt water one. So that'll give us everything that we need for that. All right, now that the right side is done and I have all the power wires in place, now we gotta do the left side where all the hydrogen is gonna be. So we're gonna have four hydrogen generators. One here, one here, one there, and one there. But we can't build these two just yet. First thing we gotta do is worry and make sure all the power's in place. There's one extra space for all these joint plates or whatnot, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some heavy watt wire and we're gonna connect those together and connect those together. And this is going to be, what is it, one over? So if I bring this over here, the other one's gonna be right there. And this one is gonna be right there. And then there's this area right here where we need, where is it? Oh, I didn't even get a smart battery. Well, let us research smart battery. I remember when I was before, I was like, yeah, I don't need a smart battery. I'm not gonna be building any of those anytime soon. <laughs> uh, tragic. 
All right, I finished my research, so now I have a power control station, which means absolutely nothing to me. A uh, jukebox, which means absolutely nothing to me, because I have no way of powering this very well. And, of course, the smart battery, which I need. Smart battery is going to go right near. So the automation wire, thanks to that being hooked up to the smart battery, once the smart battery is full, it's going to tell these things to just, just, just calm it down. All right, we're almost done, we're almost done. So I built a, a couple ladders over here so that we could get to the top and build from this side and, you know, kind of fix, you know, finish this off. So now I got to build these, what do you call them? Not power transformers. Heavy watt joint plates. Once the heavy watt joint plates are back in place, we'll be able to actually like get this taken care of. All right, here we go. So step number one, we need to connect these two. So let's connect it. That'll let the water go in here, but unfortunately, this cannot run without power. So, what we need to do is we need to grab a manual generator, and we're going to put it right here. And this will get the smart battery up and running to get these first four running. Come on, baby. Come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I realize I messed things up. How did I mess things up? <laughs> you see this large power transformer? Yeah, it has these little nice little arrows on which way they go. And I did not read a single one of them. Cause, cause, cause why would I? Why would I? So unfortunately, all the power that's in here is going the wrong direction. Yeah! And I just destroyed my liquid lock too. Oh, bollocks. Hold on a moment. All right, there we go. And it is finally time to get this thing up and running. So if we look at the power switch, we have this disconnected. We have uh, this disconnected. And you know what? Let's disconnect these right here. We go to the overlay, we can see that we have hydrogen. I had to have prime it just to be safe. And we have oxygen over here. Now the only other thing to do is to basically connect this together. And it should... Alright, we're only pumping hydrogen over there. We're only pumping oxygen over there. And how much? Ugh. Hydrogen is pretty low. And oxygen is, well, at least oxygen's coming up more. Let's connect these up. At least that way, you know, we, 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 we get more stuff going in there pretty quick. All right, so at least this is far enough away. It should keep it going. All right, these start going. All right, manual generator. Let's disable that building. And I think that's it. it. This is like chocked full of hydrogen. All right, there's still a decent amount of hydrogen and everywhere else. These are all up and running. This is getting full up. And the best part about it is it's infinite. So as long as I keep putting water in there, oh, it is going to keep going and going and going. So all we got to do now is just deconstruct that and we are set. We did it. We made a spawn, ladies and gentlemen. And the best part about it is I have all these pumps right here that I can just bring anywhere out into the base. And that'll be... Oh god, that's a lot. That'll be plenty. Plenty of oxygen. And I don't have to worry about wasting any of it because it'll just accumulate and accumulate and accumulate. Oh, but that does mean I can connect the wire up. And we can take a look at it, and there we go. So I got plenty of oxygen in there, plenty of hydrogen. This is only just going to get fuller and fuller and fuller. Of course, that's going to deplete my water. And on the next episode, I'm going to have to worry about how to get more water. Which, which luckily I have this that has been... Just eating away at this biome, unfortunately. 
So it'll come all the way down here and just come in here eventually. And then I just got to connect these ones to this one and we should be good. Yeah, good luck with that. But at least we have a spawn. We did that. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. Keep it nice bite size and whatnot. So if you like what you see, don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see everybody in the next episode. All of you. Mandatory. Gotta be there. <laughs> have a good one. Bye-bye.